Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, I'll give you just one perfect tip if you are confused about getting started with programming. Let's get started with that. In this channel, we talk about programming, web apps, mobile apps, and pretty much everything related to technology. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. Now I'll keep this video short and precise. Now let's talk about two type of people who are trying to get started in programming. The one type of people who are dedicated towards a motive, let's just say they want to design a very killer website or they want to design a very awesome mobile app. Now doing a lot of research for that kind of person is completely okay because they are moreover project oriented. They want to design an app, they want to design a website and if they are trying to do a lot of research which is perfect for them, which is not so perfect for them, it's completely okay for them. And to be honest, this video is not about them. This video is about completely opposite type of people who want to get started with programming and want to learn it, not having a very big motive. They just want to learn programming. They are interested in that. And my number one and only tip to them is just get started. Now I have seen a lot of people getting worried about, Hey, should I be getting started with C? Should I be getting started with Java? Should I be getting started with PHP and all these things? Now, when I ask them, what is your end goal? Do you want to design a product? They say, no, I don't have any specific product in mind. And by the way, that's completely okay at this point of time. Now, they just say that I don't have any specific project in mind. I just want to learn programming. Programming impresses me a lot. And if programming impresses you quite a lot, why are you worried? I have no particular reason to describe it, but you shouldn't be worried about it. Want to get started with C? That's completely okay. Want to get started with Java? That's okay. Want to get started with PHP? That's okay too. Now, all I'm saying is don't wait. Get started. Now, programming is a thing which doesn't just call automatically comes up within a few weeks. It takes a lot of time to understand the basic concept of variables, loops, and functions, and moreover towards object-oriented programming, uh, things like uh, polymorphism and uh, all those classes and object concept takes some time. So all I'm saying is don't wait and don't get worried too much about. It's not like once you have opted for C, you cannot switch ever with other languages. Obviously you can switch on and the only thing that's stopping you is too much worrying. So stop getting worried about these things. Just get started. Now, in order to get started with all of the languages, uh, there are a couple of ways you can get started. Obviously, there are a lot of books, there are a lot of online tutorials, a lot of online courses. And hey, I'm not selling you anything in here. All I'm saying is just get started. I personally am a little bit biased uh, towards video based learning because I think that is far more interactive for you. If you are looking up uh, on this channel to moreover learn about things by, by uh, video visuals, then obviously, you are a visual based learner. So I would recommend highly to go on uh, with some video based training. I'm not saying buy my ones or uh, just like that. Uh, you can go ahead, uh, choose anyone that is look good for you. But again, coming back on to our topic, just get started. Okay, that is the number one thing that you are lagging behind. So let me know in the comment section below that after watching this video, how many of you have stopped worried about the things and have just got started. And uh, by the way, if you haven't yet subscribed, do subscribe because I usually go live and YouTube has just given me a kind of a feature that I can go live from my mobile apps and that feature uh, I've read in the uh, in the mail that is being uh, live for the people who have got the 10,000 subscribers. Hey, by the way, we got the 10K subscribers. So I do get live quite a lot now and you can catch me up there. So this was just a quick info there. Now, in case you think that this video was awesome, give it a thumbs up. And in case you think that this video can be helpful for somebody, then make sure you share it as well. And notify me in the comment section below how many of you got started uh, with programming and what language have you chosen?